El problem states that two circular rods are joined together and loaded with two forces, as shown in the diagram. Pues so what is the maximum normal stress in each rod? O sea, can basically say. Well, uh, let's look at how the rods are anchored. Here, a rod A is embedded in the wall and is connected to rod B. There is a load of 20 at the end, and here, where the two rods are joined, there is another load of 12 kilonewtons. First step, let's find the static part. That is, we are going to calculate the reaction here on the wall. How much the reaction will be? It is entering the anchorage. So, if we sum the forces equal to zero, what do we have? Minus the reaction plus the load of 20 minus the load of 12 equals zero. Obviously, here we solve for the reaction and it will give us 8 kilonewtons in the direction shown. Now we cut here in this section. And look, if we cut in that section, we remove the section, then what do we have? The 8 kilonewtons here at the fixed support and the internal load of R prime. If this is in equilibrium, obviously R prime is 8 kilonewtons. And this would be the load in this entire thin section. Now we make the cut in the other section, in the thick section, we cut anywhere. If we take the right side of the cut, notice there is what we have left. We draw the internal load. Obviously, it must be opposite to this to be in equilibrium, and for it to be in equilibrium, obviously P must be 20 kilonewtons. And there we have it. We have the loads in the two sections, the thin section and the thick section. And here it is. This would correspond to the graphical solution. 8 kilonewtons in the thin section, 20 kilonewtons in the thick section. Once we have the loads, now the simplest thing is to calculate that, the stress. The stress is the load over the area. The load given then they go given in the section and the area of the section. For example, for the first section, the thin section, the load is 8 kilonewtons. So we leave 8 times 10 to the 3, the area over the area. P times the radius squa uh, squared, uh, because they tell us it is a circular section. So P, since the diameter is 25 millimeters, the radius is 0 0.125, 0 0.0125 meters, that squared. This gives me 16.3. Uh, megapascals. And for the other section, well, the load is 20 kilonewtons. The cross-sectional area is pi times the radius squared. Since the diameter is 30, the radius is 15. That is 0 0.015 squared meters. And this gives me 24 megapascals. Uh, the greatest stress is 28.29 megapascals. And it is in the thickest section, in section B. I'll wait for you here for the next video.